Florida shrimp have always been a favorite of mine. For one thing, I don't think you can hurt shrimp other than just overcooking it when it gets tough. Um, but this particular marinade I'm particularly fond of. Uh, it's made with the citrus of Florida, fresh squeezed lemon or lime, some fresh squeezed orange juice, uh, fresh, um, well actually this isn't so fresh, this is catsup, but catsup. I do like to use fresh ingredients, so I get used to saying that. The dry mustard and the fresh minced garlic. Always remember to use the fresh because it just has such a, such a much more snappy bounce to the taste and it um, just gives it totally that southwestern flavor. I've added now Worcestershire sauce and honey. Honey is so good to use in barbecue sauces. You've probably noticed that it's used quite a bit because that adds a lot. It pairs with, uh, flavor-wise, it pairs with the citrus and then it browns really well so it enhances the browning and makes it just have that yummy kind of a golden look. And I'm going to add some vegetable oil, just a little. A little bit of uh, mild chili, pure mild chili, not the chili powder. Salt and pepper, and I like to mix these in a blender because it just gets the um, all, it gets all the ingredients. Uh, uh oh, it gets all the ingredients really well uh, blended together. And there you have it. You could whisk it, but it would not probably blend them quite as completely, uh, certainly not as rapidly. Uh, these are shrimp, sort of a medium-sized shrimp that have been peeled. The tail was left, uh, the hard part of the tail was taken off, but the soft inner part was left on. And then a sharp knife was used to just cut to remove the vein. And I like to cut it a little deeper than to just remove the vein because I think it's prettier when it's completely done. So we'll just now add all these shrimp, kind of draining as I go. And these shrimp need at least 15 minutes marinating. It's best if um, you can marinate them for an hour. And I do have some over here that have been marinating for an hour. And when you're starting a marinade, always make sure that absolutely every single piece, in this case it's shrimp, is coated. And even though these are shrimp, they uh, can and should be marinated uh, if you're marinating for the, just one hour. It should be marinated at room temperature because at room temperature the flavors will absorb much more quickly. But let's say I wanted to prepare it tonight for tomorrow night, then that's okay because it'll have the eight hours in the refrigerator. Um, now I have some that uh, I just prepared ahead of time. And I'll put them on this uh, sort of a medium-high grill. And I'm just going to add a little brush of that um, marinade to give it extra flavor. And as soon as the color gets opaque and they're nice and pink, they're done. These are almost done. You can see they just cook quick as a flash. So you want a quick dinner, this is certainly one to choose. And I just want to show you a way that I like to, uh, to plate them. Just take these off. And I'll just pull, up, pull them off the um, skewers. Try to keep them, and sometimes your hands almost work best, except these are hot. <laughs> just get them off, and then we'll just arrange them. around the edge of the, um, uh, this is a rice mold, and to make the rice mold, um, I'll try to do several of these at once, uh, to make a rice mold all you do is uh, cook rice, whatever kind of rice, whether you want plain, whether you want um, seasoned rice, uh, whatever you're putting in it, and then as soon as it's done, let it fluff for a while in the pan with the lid on, and then what you do is you uh, butter a, uh, a bowl, you know what, excuse me, but I, these are hot, but I think I can move these so much faster this way. 
Anyhow, you get it really well buttered with cold butter. Uh, butter is a better choice than oil because the butter will stick on there longer than if it had been oil. Then you press and kind of press the uh, uh, rice in there until you've just kind of molded it and then just flip it out and you have a rice mold. And it's kind of nice to put in the center of different dishes.